people i am back with another creative video would you like to make a pair of earrings which matches the vibe of your dress this festival if yes stick with me till the end because i'm going to guide you throughout and also will show you how it looks when worn in real life we got a need few stones choose according to your dress stone chain ball chain studs bukram or bakram easily available at any tailor shop cut a small piece of bukram this will be our base for earrings you can use thick sheet of paper instead but i would prefer bukram for longevity cut it approximately according to the size of earrings you are planning to make now stick the stone using fevicol i'll be decorating it using ball chain and stone chain don't skip the video or adjust the speed i have done everything beforehand for your convenience i would not waste any time of yours i promise the tools i'll be showing in this video are not at all necessary but they make the process a whole lot easier i'll be linking all the products below as much as i can find online so that you don't have to run anywhere you can be creative with the earrings or can make the same piece if it matches your vibe oh also these will be available for sale on my instagram shop at nak lab miniatures make sure to check my instagram because i post still photos of my products there this piece is not yet done i left it aside for drying after drying i'm cutting out the extra and sticking it to another bukram piece stick it half facing the drop shape outside Stick the ball chains as shown to give it a small jhumka look. I could not believe it turned out so pretty in my first attempt itself. Plus, it was so lightweight. The ones we buy from market are so heavy, and usually we can't wear it for longer time. But wearing this felt like wearing nothing on my ears. I made this piece for myself. The second one, which I'll be showing in this video, was for my mom, and it was bigger than mine. Still, it was very lightweight. You can make this piece bigger or smaller according to your preference. That's the fun of things made handmade. I'll be finishing. it with the stone chain after it gets dried cut it out stick a stud on the back of it and paste a piece of bukram for security wait till the end to see me and my mom flaunting it dm me on instagram to get this piece you can also get it customized according to your dress that's one of the perk buying from nak lab You can stick the studs in any of the ways I have shown as you find it comfortable. Share your valuable feedback in the comments. It highly motivates me and makes me feel I'm going in the right direction. Also, new viewers, kindly subscribe to my channel. I post art and craft vlogs and hauls in this channel. We are done with our first piece and it looks absolutely gorgeous to me. Comment down right now and tell me can you believe we made it ourselves in the first attempt just at home I'm super duper happy with this Now let's move on to the second piece We need the same materials as the first one and in addition we'll be needing kundan stones some pearls and eye pins Do not worry I'll link them all below I have also purchased most of them online The process is exactly same like the last earrings we made so I would not waste much of your time and just move the video faster Wherever needed I'll stop by and guide you guys through it Just follow along with me and the process is really easy This particular earring will be in two parts. One will be the stud part and the second one will be the jhumka part. So it's quite a big earring. So we are done with the stud part and we'll leave it aside to dry and in that meantime we'll make the jhumka part. So for jhumka part I have drawn a square and cutting it out approximately the size I want to make it. That will be a square jhumka. 
to strengthen the jhumka i am sticking two bookrams to make it one because my mom's dress was brown in color so i chose to make the jhumka as brown after the color is dried we will go with the same process as we did earlier I'll be attaching eye pins on studs and the jhumka parts to make them attach later on and also I'll be attaching three eye pins in the below side of the jhumka because I'll be adding pearls to it Once they are dried they will look something like this For making the pearl lutkan, I am using an eye pin and in that I am inserting small golden bead, then white pearl and then again small golden bead. And folding it back using my tool to make a hook and so that I can attach it. Cutting the stud part is quite trickier. Use small sharp scissors to have a clean finish. Later on, I had colored the back of Chumka as well. I'm attaching all the pieces and we are done with our second and last earring. To share your valuable feedback, follow me on Instagram at Naclav Miniatures and also subscribe to my channel for more upcoming festival ideas. See you guys soon in a brand new video. Till then, bye!